Hey guys, this is Ryan Thor bringing you some more Far East mod. Now, as you might see, playing as a Chinese army. This is an, again an introductionary video, just like uh, with my other video, but this time we're only playing as China. So, Chinese are quite different to the, well, not that much different to the Japanese army, but their building system is a little different. Like the last video, please pause if you want to read the description. Uh, engineer squad, three guys, of course. With, with American voices, since they don't have translations yet. And let's look at the commander trees now. We have the Elite German Armed Division, we have the Chinese Expeditionary Force, and the National United Front. Um, one of these is basically communist, one is supported by the Germans, what they did until 1941, as far to my knowledge. Here is the communist, you have basically the 8RA guerrilla, the root army, I would, uh, I would think it's a red army, but it doesn't matter. Then we can have strengthened defenses and clear fields. I haven't really played that much as Chinese, but uh, please read the description. Then you can have the 47mm Type 1 AT gun. That's a captured Japanese AT gun. Rapid response, just like in the original game. This is a great cavalry team, where <laughs> Chinese troops are riding on donkeys with swords. I like that shit. That is fucking hilarious, so I think I'll take that to show you guys. Then we have the donkey bomb, which is basically like the kamikaze troop just with the uh, donkey. Chinese Expeditionary Force. Yes, um, you can construct triage centers to heal your infantry if you take the first aid. Fire Assault Team, they have um, basically American weapons and Czech weapons, a li uh, light support team basically. B-25 bombs, bomber you can phone in. Brand Carriers, which is quite hilarious. Uh, bazooka team, or bazook team here. <laughs> better is better folks, don't forget that. And you can call in the M4 Sherman, this is quite OP in my f opinion, because Japanese don't really have that much to count except some AT guns maybe, but yeah. Then we have the German support teams. Um, the General Lecturing uh, Echecon have really good weapons, they're really good equipped. German trained troops basically. Then you can get the Panzer 1, like you saw in my last video. Maybe my comrade will have the Panzer 1, so you can see it again. And the Pack 36, self-explanatory. For the Motherland, this is basically like the Banzai charge attack from the Japanese. Then you can have the Circular Defense, this is basically like what you also have in the... the Russian mod for Company of Heroes 1, where you can build basically around a point sandbags and you can put your troops in it. And you can build... Um, the Feldhaube Geschütz from the Germans, 18, which is basically artillery. So I think we'll take the communists so I can show you the donkeys, because they are quite okay. hilarious. So our first building is a reception station. You can have conscriptees, they're really funny, inferior troops, and the scout teams. And also with every Chinese building you can build an uh, upgrade, which uh, gives your troops special abilities in the NRA regular. So the conscript T squads are quite funny. They are basically comprised of Zerdas or some shit. They're really good early game. They only cost 105 and you build them really fast. They are led by a police guy with a C96. My god, so sexy. And uh, they can build trenches. But the thing is, they have no weaponry except the police guy. So this is basically just early game cannon fodder that capture points and builds stuff. Okay, the inferior troops, they are basically deserters too, just they have given random weaponry. These are supposed to be Mosinagans, I think, from last time. The K-98, some more Mosinagans. Of course, if you go communist go. tree, that makes sense. Okay. Let's just send them to die. And my AI comrade is doing quite good, actually. Good, this is the... The NRA regular barracks, you have the NRA regular troops, like the basic troops, these are the opposite to the Japanese. They all have German helmets and German equipment. You have the grenade team that can throw grenades and the Type 24 HMG uh, team. The Type 24 is basically like the MG08 out of the First World War German equipment. Build some support camps. These, these buildings are basically just American reskins, but Nevertheless, quite sexy, especially if you have the MG-08 there. So the NRA regulars, as you can see, basically all equipped with uh, 
either K98 or the Chankai Shek rifle. I'm not sure. I could not tell you the difference if if there is a difference in the game, you know, because the Chankai Shek rifle was basically the K98 build um, under Chinese license, and you can equip them with the um, uh, Zins or whatever 26, which is a checkmate ri uh, light machine gun. Send them to death. Um, and here we have the grenade team. They are equipped with uh, Mosinarians apparently. And they can throw bundle grenades for 50 or normal grenades for 25. These are, I think, the only, the only troops in the Chinese army that can throw grenades. They are special built for that. So here we have a Type 24 HMG team. With the sexy MG08. Look at that. Oh god. The suppressiveness. So, go to your death. <laughs> and here we have the support camp. Now, this is quite interesting since we have uh, a broadsword team, which um, basically combines of six troops that, um, yeah, do melee combat. So I think that the the mod in near future should have um, melee combat for all troops. This would make sense since we have already a troop that has broadswords. So here you can also build um, the support camp upgrade, meaning you can build a Breda M35 AA in Kamplin, in, in placement, uh, sorry. And we have here the MP18 team, the AT rifle team, and the sniper. And we have the last building, what I need to save 20 gas for, but see you then. Triad center, like I said, you need to have the special command tree to have that. But, uh, yeah, the <laughs> I really like these guys, these broadsword team. They run really fast and have broadswords, typical Chinese weapons, very light, and they go into uh, close combat. Maybe I can find a troop or so and show you, because it is quite funny. They are easily suppressed, though, with uh, from uh, machine guns, but yeah. As you can see, they just uh, run up to the enemy. They don't whack at them, really. You know, the animations are missing. But, um, yeah, they're quite strong, actually. They're used in masses. Oh, they do whack, okay. Uh, f the few first few times I played with them, I didn't see that. Attack the tank. Oh, the truck. So you can see they do quite a bit of damage actually, even though they just have brought source. But uh, yeah. So now we have the... I'll get over there and build my thingy. Ah, uh, here we have the AT squad. The AT rifle squad, I think they're equipped with boys rifles. The boys AT rifles. Quite OP actually in my opinion, because there's four of them, but um, yeah. Snipe over here and the MP18 team. The MP18 team is quite great actually. Um, American or British helmets and the a MP18 Bergmann submachine gun. It's quite good actually. It um, If you're playing Chinese, please always take them. They're quite strong. <coughs> Sorry, and here's a sniper with uh, early scope as apparently and a K98. Quite good, can camouflage and can heal himself. Very strong actually, very strong. And this is basically now the armored control center. Here we have the Breda M1935 uh, field gun. It's uh, basically like the Japanese counterpart, it's a unit support. So it's not really against tank, you can damage tanks. But um, it's better used as support for the infantry. Then we have the Vickers Mark E Type B, which is a British tank. Very nice in my opinion. Then we have the Renault FT-17, weak French tank, which is actually quite strong in this game though. And the T-26, which is a Soviet tank, which you might know. And um, yeah, I like playing the T-26 in uh, World of Tanks. <laughs> so I think I'll build one here. Uh, the cavalry team. This is just hilarious. This is great. And if you're asking why there's 300 in the better, at least now you can do a population cap 300, 999. And uh, with POWs. Yeah, so you get two squads of cavalry teams. <laughs> 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 yep. 
Yeah, so <laughs> the cavalry is mounted on donkeys and they have broadswords. They they work basically like the broadswords, just that they are a little stronger because of the donkeys, of course. The might of the Chinese army, Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, let's call the guerrilla squads just to show you that. Quite nice, actually, the troops. Go over there. see with the sickle they are equipped with captured uh, type 96s apparently uh, captured type 11 machine gun c96 pistols and yeah they're quite resilient troops and they can camouflage as well as throw mines uh, not throw mines but they can build mines and build tank traps as well as throw grenades which is quite good actually if you want to surprise people so my donkeys attack Kill the Japanese dogs. Haha, haha. -ha. They are quite strong though, if they wouldn't be suppressed here like hell. Oh, then they died. But who cares? This is just to show you a little bit about how the Chinese work, what kind of troops they have. So, yeah. Oh, T96 is here already. Sexy model indeed. Quite accurate. And with the Chinese uh, sun star symbol. Quite nice, quite nice. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, I think I'll build a French tank. Uh, to wait a little bit. Or British? Yeah, let's do the British. Just for the lols. Okay, conscripts. Go to your death. Because you have no weapons. And they know they cannot really pick up weapons from their fallen comrades, like in fucking movies or so. But one good thing on conscriptees is they are cheap units to resupply, for example, emplacements. Or they can pick up MGs, I think. So if you want to uh, have a cheap way to uh, refill like empty posts like this, just build a conscript T squad so you don't have to buy uh, expensive stuff. Uh, refills basically from your more elite troops. Oh, here we have a bright division. Sexy as fuck. I must say, play wise, uh, I like the Japanese more. Because they are more straightforward, more like Germans in the game. But the Chinese can easily, easily overrun you and outman you. Especially with the foreign technology, which is quite good. Like the Vickers, like here. Or um, the German tanks and stuff. So, always watch out for that if you're playing against the Chinese. Here's the Vickers tank, quite sexy model. Not many were exported to China, as I know, but um, yeah, they're still in game. So next, you could build strength and defenses. That means your um, guerrilla troops could build defenses, but don't want to do that right now. Support fire upgrade, yes. No, no, no fuel. What the hell? Okay, I'd rather build a tank to show you guys the tanks. see machine guns and stuff oh, that's really nice I like this mod a lot conscripts run pick up the MG inferior troops run away oh, too bad. this guy but the C96 is quite sexy man what that in real life oh AT gun let's see if we can kill it Oh yeah. <laughs> I love that stuff. Okay. Our French tank should be finished now. Where is it? There it is. FT-17. Quite known on the Western Front in the beginning of the war. But the French exported some. China bought lots of stuff to before the war. Well, in the 30s basically. Before the Sino-Japanese War. And uh, that shows basically, you know, got lots of uh, stuff from other nations, which is, in my opinion, quite cool because uh, you can see what uh, a makeshift army can do, even though they were inferior to the Japanese, we couldn't beat them. But uh, it's quite interesting to play. So, puppet army. 
nothing special really what I could show you from our Japanese enemies here. Oh, Jihad, I think. Could be. But yeah, we're just sacking them. Oh, Type Hago, oh, wonderful. 95. Enemy yeah. Down. One of my favorites. I think the MG is bugged for it though in the hole. Because I, whenever I play, I don't really see the MG firing, but um, nevertheless, it's one of my favorite tanks. Thank you, Man of War. <laughs> so, um, what else do we have to show? Ugh, I just want to show you the donkey bomb! Because <laughs> that's just uh, hilarious. That is uh, just a wonderful unit, in my opinion. <laughs> stack up the shit. Yeah, problem is with Japan, they don't really have that much anti-tank possibilities. They don't have like an anti-tank screw crew. They have maybe the anti-tank guns, but they aren't that strong. That's what I've seen. Yes, the donkey bomb. This is the most lol unit in the game. You can even upgrade it with donkey armor, which I will do. You can sprint the donkey, make it explode, and even camouflage, which is quite funny. So you can see the donkey armor. <laughs> even has a little helmet on it. <laughs> the Japanese hat. <laughs> oh god. This is just brings me joy. To my heart. It's the best troop ever. On the whole time, come with heroes game. So let's send... Uh, some troops to support my donkey. I think it has an as big ra explosive radius as the kamikaze troops, but um, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, let's use it to explode the Type Hago. Let's go, 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 go! Err, uh, poof! Oh. Okay. It's not very good against armor, but as you can see, it's good against uh, infantry since it's burning. So yeah, best use against infantry, but the Hago is disabled. The mortar? Oh well. Let's go support our tanks in the front. But yeah, that was basically the bulk of the Chinese army troop. If you want to see other command trees, I recommend you download the mod yourself. Mod, of course, is in the description. Instru installation mo uh, instructions are there too. It's not that hard if you use your brain. Take this empty. And uh, yeah, there's not much sense really in showing you more because I think I've shown you all Ooh, with camouflage. Nice. Um, I've shown you all Japanese troops basically, all the normal Chinese troops. Uh, MP18 Bergman group. Let's go. Um, yeah, I won't take this video too long like the other one. So I'll just send my donkey to its death. And uh, I wish you guys have a nice day, have a nice evening, have a nice morning, wherever time it is at you guys' houses. And I hope I could bring you a little bit closer to this mod since it's really fun. I like it. If you want, please uh, like, subscribe favorite whatever you know that shares and um yeah let's, let's just casualties. kill this bright squad boom look at that ah beautiful and um yeah i hope you have a nice time uh thank you for watching my video and i hope to see you soon again guys take care and this is ryan thor signing off <laughs>